Tonight we're learning the impact a guaranteed income pilot program had on Austin families who were struggling to get by. It gave 135 families $1,000 a month for a year. KVU's Matt Fernandez shows us how those families spent the money and for some, how it turned their lives around. I've come a good long way. This is Taniqua Brewster. She's a mother of five who lives in Austin. You can see that bright smile she now has on her face, but it was a different story a couple years ago when she fell on tough times. We were struggling with the rent payments because everything had increased. Um, eviction was happening, uh, lights, uh, utilities. There was so many things going on. Brewster says she was working part-time and it was really tough to get by. She and 135 families were selected to participate in Austin's Guaranteed Income Pilot Program, a partnership between the city and Up Together. It was a year-long program that ended in 2023. It gave families $1,000 per month a year, meant to help families struggling with rent, but they were allowed to use that money any way they wanted. Brewster says this help changed her life. It gave housing security. It gave like financial security, even though it to many it don't seem like much, but when you're in a situation and it's all you have, then you'll make it work. She says in a few months, she went from facing eviction to feeling comfortable with her housing situation. She was able to put good quality meals on the table for her family and went from a part-time job to a full-time one. Now I'm working full time because I was able to get a certification as a leasing agent. That's one of the things that I got. I'm also a certified doula now. Um, it's, it was motivation to do more. The Urban Institute interviewed people like Brewster who took part in the program and put together a final report how the program impacted them. Mary Bogo was the principal investigator. She found the majority of people used more than 50 percent of the money towards rent. Folks were substantially, remained substantially more housing secure than they were at the beginning of the pilot, and their incomes had gone up. Families spent the rest on other things like food, and it was able to help people's mental health, relieving some stress during that time. It wasn't just that they felt more food secure, they increased the quality of the food they were eating. They were eating healthier meals. Bogle says overall, the program did what it was supposed to do. When you give people their own choice of how to spend a resource, they're pretty good at getting themselves out of uh, difficult financial struggles. I just want people to know that just because someone is underserved does not mean that they don't deserve anything better than what they have. In Austin, Matt Fernandez, KV News. Thank you, Matt. The city's replacement for that guaranteed income program started back in June, and it's called the Family Stabilization Grant Program. The $1.3 million plan targets households experiencing financial hardship, especially those with children, and it provides families $1,000 a month for an entire year. And those families were specifically chosen by six local organizations based on need. There was no open application process. Back in April, Texas Attorney General Kim Paxton blocked a similar guaranteed income program in Harris County. Now, the Texas Supreme Court ruled that county must hold off paying people through its Uplift Harris program. The program aimed to give $500 per month to about 1,900 Harris County residents for 18 months. The county launched a second version in May with more restrictions that leaders said would help it avoid any lawsuits. That new program is set to start distributing funds on January the 1st. 